Hey, Mark Schreiber here for Intel Future Skills, and today we are talking paper circuits. Yeah, paper circuits are really cool because you get to make your own paper card, basically, that you can give away to other people. I mean, this could be a flat paper display like our Inspire 2 video, which is amazing, by the way. If you haven't watched it, watch the Inspire 2 video. Cool stuff that you can actually make from really just basic stuff. Copper tape you'll need. Now, if you want, you can use nylon tape, which you can also get. It's in the supply list. And regular LEDs. we have got a whole bunch of LEDs, um, any type of LED. They all run on 3.3 volts or 3 volts and a coin cell battery because it's nice and flat. That's really the gist of it. You can also use some uh, binder clips if you want to hold it together. And some scotch tape is helpful uh, for any time that you put copper on top of each other. Uh, it, we'll talk about it in just a sec, but it can be kind of a pain. So, with that said, another thing that really helps you is, is a paper circuit template from Chibitronics. You can download it at Chibitronics. Paper circuit for the parallel circuit template. So you'll see, let me show over here to this other camera, you'll see that there are two paths. This is just like, um, like a, a rungs on a ladder, right? So you have a negative and a positive, and you can put, you can make the electricity go from the negative to the positive side by putting a bridge in there or a rung, right? Or a railroad tie, if you may. You can put multiple of these, and if this is my positive side, electricity will flow across both of these rungs and light them up. And if you get some work to be done there by putting an LED in there, that will work. So pay attention. Here's a good part of what's going on. If you take an LED and you basically put it on the bottom of a coin cell battery, right? that will turn on. Now, that's because one of these is the bottom is the negative, the cathode, and the, the top is the positive or the anode of a battery, and electricity has to flow around to the other side, like my railroad track analogy or my rungs. Now, we can, if we put two extensions of this ladder, big, big pieces up like I showed you, then we could turn this on up here, here, and here. So, for example, I did it, did it right here. Here's a perfect ladder without any rungs. My LEDs are my rungs. And so if I put this coin cell battery down here, then it should turn on. Now, you can see that mine's not turning on maybe. Even I fail, right? And that's part of this project is failing fast and learning from it. It can be frustrating. It could be discouraging a little bit but I think I see what I did there I was touching the bottom and the top at the same time on my fold now there we go now it lights up let me get my hand out of the way but you'll see it lights up now they only light up in one direction so if it doesn't light up spin it around and you'll see it light up now I think it's a really easy way just to do two flat straight rungs, but remember, these can curl or do whatever as long as they never touch. You can make your, your rungs of your, of your ladder rails and then your rungs go across all the way up into a spiral like they did here in Chibitronics template. So let me, let me work with one here and I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to take a piece of orange paper, I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to put a corner on it just because I want to know where that is. Now, following our process, you should probably dream it first, think about what you want this to be, and then draw it. So my next step of drawing is actually going to be draw my two rails. I'm going to draw one up over here, and I'm going to draw another one over here. Now, I want to show you something. You want it to actually be able to have one a little bit longer than the other one because your battery is going to be right there. So I'm going to put my battery, the bottom, and then it's going to go on top of my copper tape, right? Bottom on top of my copper tape. And then when I fold this over, it's going to touch the top of it to my other rail of my copper tape. So let's add in some copper tape. Copper tape is, is tricky stuff. So be careful with it. Whenever possible, try not to break it. If I can, I don't want to just rip and cut new pieces of copper tape just to make my curve here, but instead I just want to kind of turn it around and make, make little bends in it 
keeping my copper tape all as one piece because then it is a nice uninterrupted wire, right? And we don't want breaks in our wire. That would cause what we call a short or a break in our, our actual copper. Now the next one I'm going to put down here next to my, my copper. It's going to be the bottom. And since I have my nice drawing here, it's just going to flow around here. Uh, nylon tape, you can actually you can actually stick the top to the bottom. You can break it a little bit more and it works. It's a little more forgiving. So if you're having trouble with, with copper tape, you can use nylon. Chibi also makes these, these little um, LED circuit stickers here that are surface mount LEDs instead of big LEDs. And an LED is just a light emitting diode. And the longer leg, here's a tip, the longer leg is the positive, the shorter is the negative. So before you bend them, Make sure you know which ones are positive and negative. All right, well, I'm done here with my curved idea. I'm going to take my battery. I'm going to check, just make sure this is a good battery. So I'm going to, yep, okay, I've got a good battery. I just put it on here and I've got a good LED. So I'm going to use the same LED. I'm going to bend my legs. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to take my LED and I'm going to put it on there. Now, if it doesn't work, I'm going to turn it around and voila. I've got myself the um, circuit, basic circuit. So I'm going to put my binder clip on here to clip that. I'm going to get a little scotch tape just to tape my LED. Now notice my LED is not underneath my wire. It's on top of my copper tape. So do this. Here you go. Close up right there. LED copper tape. Really easy. Do this. I can add more. Right? If I want to, I can add another one on up here. I'm just going to grab the same color LED. And what you'll find is experiment with the different color LEDs. You might find some interesting things going on. But look, now I've got two on here, two LEDs. And I could just keep going around following those rungs on my ladder, bridging it across with LEDs. And that is a parallel circuit that you can use for your paper circuit. Go light up somebody's day, give them something cool, make an awesome card. Don't just do the functional portion, but do a nice design on it. What are you going to do to make this uniquely you and then give away and really just light up somebody's day, like I said. So have fun making, keep making. Then if you find something really cool, send it to intelfutureskills at intel.com. I'm Mark once again. Keep making. Mark out.